could have come like a mighty storm With all the strength of a hurricane Could have come like a forest fire With the power of heaven in your flame But you came like a winter snow Quiet, soft as low Falling from the sky in the night To the earth below Like a tidal wave Or an ocean to ravish our hearts You could have come through Like a roaring flood To wipe away the things we've scarred Oh, but you came like a winter snow To the earth below Oh no Your voice wasn't in A bush burning No, your voice wasn't in A rushing wind It was still It was small It was hidden But you came like a winter snow Quiet, soft and slow Falling from the sky in the night To the earth below falling In the night to the earth below. And I just want to say thank you for allowing um, the children's ministry team to work with your kids. We love your kids. We love you, but we're love. We love the love on your kids. Um, we have worked hard, and this has been a very difficult year. But we have been working, and we hope you enjoy the message that this portrays. Take as many pictures as you want with your cell phones and your cameras and whatever. I do ask that you silence your cell phones, okay? All right, please enjoy our performance for you today.
This is a manger, a manger with hay, and it's part of a story that took place far away. It's, it's a story. Huh? It's a story filled with wonders and miracles too. It's hard to imagine, but all of it's true. Let us tell you this story so, so you'll get, get it straight. straight of, of people, people who wait. wait. They, they just, just wait, 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 wait. They're waiting for something that's supposed to be great. They wait for the new king God promised to send. They just didn't know what, how, and they just didn't know when. But there is this girl who's engaged to this guy. And I'll bet you can guess both their names if you try. One day, an angel came to appear to the girl to tell her she's the one girl in all of the world. The one who's been chosen, the, the one, one who's, who's selected, selected to give birth to, to the, the king, king that the, the people, people expected. expected. Now here's the first place that the story gets odd, for the baby's the son of the Almighty God. Now Mary and Joseph, they'll both have to choose what they'll do now that they've been given this news. Will, will they, they do, do what God, God wants, wants, or, or will they, they refuse? refuse?
Here's Mary and Joseph. They've traveled for days from their hometown of Nazareth to get to this place. They would have stayed put where they were, but the fact is, Caesar decided he wanted more taxes. So they took the long trip from where Joseph was from, knowing that just any day the baby might come. But when they got to that town, it was filled to the brim. Not a bed could be found. There was no room for them. Every Every sign sign said no vacancies in Bethlehem. But God was still watching and fully aware of people who trusted him and needn't taken care of. So they gave him a stable. At least it was private. Though it might have been smelly. And not very quiet. But there with the animals watching it all, God's only son was born in a stall. And though no one there knew in the fields outside the town, as the shepherds had gotten their sheep settled down, And the next thing they knew, there was light all around. Their hands started to shake. Their hearts started to pound. And they fell Fell in in sheer sheer terror, terror, face face down down on on the the ground. ground. Don't be afraid, an angel was saying. You've been given a savior. I know where he's staying. Then that angel turned to two and then four. A A whole whole sky sky full of angels. Angels Angels galore. galore. And wherever they looked, there there were more, 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 more. And it didn't take long once those visitors left them. The shepherds remembered the angel's directions. So they came in a hurry, just hoping to see him. Was this the Messiah? Could this really be him? Could the Savior they'd watched for have really arrived? They all were astonished, amazed, amazed and surprised. Because they, they saw, saw Jesus, Jesus there with their, their very own, own eyes. eyes.
Now up in the sky, as the planets all swirled, one light was new shining down on the world. A star that had never been seen until that time, it flashed in the sky like a big neon sign. Thousands of miles to the east men had seen, and they studied and traveled. Uh, they studied and talked about what it could mean. They knew right away from their books and their readings they should follow the star and go where it was leading. So they loaded up camels with gifts they would bring. They said, we, we won't, won't go come home, home till, till we find the new king. king. We're not turning back till we see who he is. Till we find out his name. And give him our gifts. If, if he's, he's really, really the, the king, king, he'll, he'll be, be worth all, all of this. this.
Here is the truth that you might have missed. It's about the whole world was given a gift. For Jesus lo- or for God loved us so deeply that he sent Jesus to prove it completely. The child that was born was God's son in our skin. We could see him and touch him and love him and then. Then he went to the cross and he died in our place. We wouldn't deserve it. That's why this was grace. The gift is for anyone who is willing to believe it. You just have to ask and you will receive it. Who but God could have planned it or even conceived it?
Here are the people. The places, the things. Like Mary and Joseph. The angels who sing. The stable beneath, the star above head. The shepherds who worshipped. The kings from the east. The sheep and the cattle. And last but not least. The baby, the baby, so precious, so dear. It can't really be Christmas till he is here. Now here's now he, the whole story. If you need a review, feel free to join in if, if you'd like, like to sing too. too.
to go ahead and hit the house lights here, guys. Um, Jana and Mary and Cassie, come here. <laughs> um, it's, it's more than just going through uh, a Christmas program, but here is uh, a few of those that work with our children, and they do a fantastic job. It's more than just giving them something to do. It's more than just babysitting. It's more than a daycare or a preschool, as I understand. It is a ministry where they are pouring in to these students the love of Jesus, teaching them about who God is, leading them into a saving uh, place where they receive Jesus as a personal savior and minister to them. Things that are taught to these children that will carry them through the rest of their life. And so we appreciate our children's workers. Amen. So anyway, uh, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for all that uh, your investment in. Um, I was told by our senior adult, you should be making your way this way, Glinda. Takes you a while. <laughs> anyway, she said, she said, I... She wanted, to, she wanted to say thanks as well, so it, uh, we appreciate our senior adult ministries. And this is, see, we got you covered from the cradle and to the happy years. <laughs> it's a little hot. And I prayed a lot about this all week. Uh, I wouldn't have to be up here if it wasn't for COVID. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and with our children like they are, would you ever have guessed that you were going to be the age that you are right now? And did you enjoy your childhood? Because if you didn't, you should have, because look at you now. <laughs> um, so from one end of the spectrum to the other, Sister Pastor, we need you up here too, wherever you're at. We like to sit in the back so we can come clear to the front. Everybody yeah, everybody watches you, you know. <laughs> you know, the scripture says, give honor where honor is due. Uh, Pastor and Roxy do a lot in the background that we never, ever see. They're always there for you to talk to and to pray with. I asked Pastor one time, how much do you want me to tell you? He says, as much as you want me to know. So sometimes you don't want them to know things, but when you become, I don't call you elderly, I don't call you old, but when you become more mature, you tend not to want to let people know what's going on in your life. And that's when it's really important that people do know what's going on so they can pray with you and be there for you because sometimes we become really discouraged and we just don't know where to turn to. We can pray all we want to, but we need the body of Christ to be there with us. And I wrote on this, I'd rather be standing here thinking about God than to be sitting in church thinking about fishing. You know, uh, we could be out there fishing. And joy is a feeling of giving and grinning on the inside. So hopefully this season you have a lot of joy. And I'd like all my seniors, I'm not going to make you come up front because I was told by one of them she wouldn't come up here anyway. Um, I'd like you to stand that you are uh, 50 plus. And then I want you to look around and see how many seniors we have in our church and how important they are. And uh, I love you, and God loves you more, but I'm right behind him. So we took up an offering for Roxy and Pastor and wrote some stuff in here. I didn't even read it. I guess I should have to see if it was readable. 
but uh, we took up an offering just from our seniors. If you weren't uh, somebody come to you, you can go ahead and sit down. We would uh, enjoy having you sign his card to where he knows who you are. Some of you are new here, and I don't even know who you are. I know your face, but God knows who you are. And I want to let them know how much we really, really appreciate them. Oh, we have a uh, thank you, and I uh, appreciate, appreciate that, our seniors pastor. Uh, we have a gift for you on your way out. And uh, that basically it's, it's something you probably can give to your kids anyway. Or eat it yourself, I don't care. Uh, the, this time of year is always such a, a wonderful time. It's also a challenge. My prayer is very specifically that this week that you are able to make a connection with friends and family to really speak into their life on who Jesus is and what he has not only done for us individually, but what he's going to do. I am looking forward to a, such a, an open heaven in 2021. All that we have gone through in this year, there is bound to be an awesome year in store for God's people. Amen? Amen. So, as we just... Would you stand? I'd like to just pray for them. And didn't these kids do an awesome job? They always do. Amen. Yeah, they have had kung fu shepherds and, and, and yeah, twirling ballerina angels, and it was awesome. Okay. Anyway, Lord, we thank you for this time that we have just to celebrate your birth and what you have done. Lord, as these children have portrayed the blessed time that you came and Lord, the, the season that we're in, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunities. I thank you, Lord, for what you have already done in the hearts and the lives of this, your people. Lord, I'm asking that this Christmas, especially this Christmas, would be blessed in a greater capacity than ever before. Lord, we will remember what you have done for us. We will remember the importance of this season. So Lord, I ask that you'd bless these, your people. You've blessed them coming in now. Bless them as they go out. Bless them in the city. Bless them at home. Bless them this week above measure. Lord, I'm asking that you would cause them and their hearts to be drawn to you. Open the heavens over them. Lord, I'm asking that you'd surround them supernaturally with the provision of protection and healing, Lord, that would surround them and give them grace. Lord, I'm asking that you would cause them to be led of your spirit this week and make a connection to someone that needs to know about you, someone that is struggling, someone that is hurting, someone that needs to hear about the Prince of Peace. Lord, now that you would encourage and strengthen this, your people. As we go, we go rejoicing because joy, the Lord has come. Amen. Let's give him praise one more time. Amen. Okay.